Earth, the planet we call our home. From deserts to snowy mountains, as surely as the seasons change, through the passage of time, every inch of our world is, as it has always been, teeming with life, with creatures large and small. Join us in celebrating the mighty wilderness in Wild About. As humans, we are easily complacent with our role as the dominant species on Earth. We go about our daily lives, surrounded by artifice of our own making, wherever we go. In our cities, in our work, in our homes. Our very way of life, no longer defined by nature, but by ourselves, in the limits of our imagination. Yet far from our nascent transcendence, buried in the dark depths of the tropical jungle, high among the treetops and misty mountains, our long forgotten origins remain, left as they always were, our shadows, our family, our brethren. Among the broad mammalian order of primates and the infraorder of simians, there's the superfamily of hominoidae, also known as the branch of apes. They are the tailless monkeys, the fast learners and social primates, commonly divided into two families, hylobatidae, or lesser apes, including all forms of gibbon, and hominidae, the great apes, including orangutans, gorillas, bonobos, chimpanzees, and humans. Though the word ape is commonly used interchangeably with monkey, in biology the distinction is clear, with the term ape reserved for the highly evolved group of primates who exhibit no tail, have exceptionally mobile shoulder joints for vertical hanging and swinging, a shorter spine, broader, flatter chest, usually larger frame, a menstrual cycle as opposed to an estrus cycle, and notably high intellect, particularly among the great apes. All apes are mainly herbivores or frugivores, feeding off leaves and fruits. Apes first evolved from the old world monkeys, diverging around 30 to 35 million years ago with the division of great and lesser apes occurring 10 to 15 million years later. The lesser apes, the gibbons, are distinguished by having low sexual dimorphism, virtually no nest building, being smaller than the great apes, with the smallest bonobo being more than twice the size of the largest gibbon, the siamang, with certain anatomical details more closely similar to monkeys. They are spread out across Indonesia, Malaysia, Laos, Cambodia, Thailand, Vietnam, southern China, and northeast India. Gibbons are nevertheless intelligent and highly social animals, and are expert brachiators, often traveling at great speed, swinging themselves from branch to branch, rarely ever touching the ground, thanks to a unique ball and socket shoulder joint and hooked hands. The easiest way of distinguishing the different species being through their distinctive song. A complex series of hoots and calls. Songs that can be heard for miles around. Intended to ward off other gibbons from their highly protected territory. They are usually grouped as pair bonded families. Unlike the great apes, they are typically monogamous. With many gibbon families gathering at the edges of their territory every morning making the great call to signify the boundaries of their area, often as male-female duets to signify their status as a pair. <laughs> the 
with juveniles pushed out of the group once they reach sexual maturity around 10 years of age. Gibbons typically reproduce once every two to three years, with their young nursing until a year and a half of age. The males sharing the burden of carrying their young. Most of a gibbon's daily life consists of feeding and resting. With many exhibiting extensive socializing using gestures, facial expressions, and grooming to develop close social bonds. At night, they sleep among the trees, high above their natural predators of tigers and sun bears. Orangutans first formed their own branch 14 million years ago, with two surviving species, the Bornean orangutan and the Sumatran orangutan. The small remaining population existing only on the islands of Borneo and Sumatra, sharing their habitat with the gibbons. Orangutans are also known to be exceptionally intelligent tool users, using sticks, stones, and sharpened cutting tools to open fruits and extract honey and insects. With fully articulated hands and feet, orangutans walk on their fists rather than their knuckles, unlike the other great apes. Found in mainly dipterocarp forests, spending most of their time in the trees, orangutans live a more solitary lifestyle than other apes, with adults commonly living completely alone, either transient or with clearly defined ranges which they defend, sometimes with force, from other orangutans. Dominant adult males are easily distinguished by their thick cheek pads and heavy throat pouches capable of making loud, long calls to attract females and ward off rivals. With the male significantly larger than the female, often weighing more than twice as much. The orangutans feed for several hours in the morning their main source of food being ficus fruits, followed by rest, to prepare them for traveling in the afternoon. At night, they construct nests high above the ground, pulling together tree branches and tying them together at a point, which is then covered in leafy branches to form a mattress. Orangutans reach sexual maturity around 15 years of age. Though some males stall in developing the cheeks, throat pouches, and long fur, these mature yet not dominant males are known as unflanged, often resorting to rape rather than courtship in order to successfully mate. As with humans and other great apes, orangutan pregnancies last eight to nine months and are typically of a single young, but have eight-year intervals between births, the longest of any ape, with the male taking no part in raising their young the mother often assisted only by their older offspring, with the orangutan spending most of the first years of its life in constant physical contact with its mother, only able to move fully on their own after weaning at four years of age. With the typical lifespan of an orangutan being just over 30 years. From the same common ancestor, gorillas evolved seven million years ago. They are found in a few select areas in Central Africa, in an area divided by the Congo River into east and west, dividing into the two species we know today, the Western Gorilla and the Eastern Gorilla. Western Gorillas being lighter in color, either brown or gray. Eastern Gorillas being somewhat larger, with a broader chest and longer face in either black or blue fur each divided into subspecies of lowland and mountainous gorilla, with the lowland gorillas being more slender and agile than the bulkier mountain gorillas. Gorillas are the largest apes, with the largest specimen being nearly six feet in height, weighing up to 600 pounds. As such, they are the only ape that remains continuously grounded as opposed to climbing trees, walking on all fours in a distinctive knuckle-led stride. 
Their diet varies considerably depending on their lifestyle, with mountain gorillas feeding mainly on foliage such as leaves and stems, plentiful in the mountain ranges, while lowland gorillas vary their diet seasonally and include more fruits, prompting a more transient existence, traveling farther each day to compensate for reduced availability of food. Highly social, gorillas live in groups known as troops, commonly consisting of several females, their young, and a single mature male, also known as a silverback, who at more than 12 years of age has developed a silvery patch on its back to signify his maturity and dominance. Being considerably larger than juvenile males or even adult females, The silverback is at the heart of the troop, making all the decisions and navigation for the group, as well as mediating conflicts and defending the troop from predators and threats, with occasional younger males or blackbacks forming an additional defense. Much of the social bonding between gorillas occurs with grooming. Gorillas spend much of their day eating and resting. Considered highly intelligent, gorillas sometimes use tools, even weapons, and have been shown to have rich emotional lives, with the ability to laugh and grieve, and to express concern about past and future events. Some gorillas in captivity have even been taught to use sign language. Females mature around 10 to 12 years, males later at 11 to 13. The gorilla pregnancy lasts eight and a half months, with four year intervals. After birth, the young remain attached to the female for the first five months, nursing until three or four years of age. Though not directly involved in raising the young, the silverback is often highly protective of his children. Gorilla lifespans range from 35 to 40 years, with some reaching up to 50 years of age, developing gray hairs just like humans. Chimpanzees diverged, last of the great apes, between four to six million years ago, from the same line that eventually evolved into humans, both terrestrial and arboreal. Chimpanzees can be found in selected areas of Central and Western Africa, divided into two species emerging two million years ago, with the formation of the Congo River as a demarcation line. The common chimpanzee, slightly larger with a more robust build, changing face color and dark lips, more prevalent on the west side of the river. And the bonobo, more slender, dark-faced, and with bright pink lips and longer limbs. The two species differ also in behavior and psychology, with the common chimpanzee more aggressive and omnivorous, forming temporary male-centric hunting troops, with several beta males led by a dominant alpha, as the males are considerably larger than the females. The troops are commonly part of a larger, permanent community of as many as 150 individuals, known as the parent group, where individuals frequently shift allegiance and social circle as a response to social interactions and situations, merging as a whole overnight and diverging into smaller troops during the day. With many groups having violent clashes with each other, both within the community as well as outside. The males are primarily responsible for hunting and protecting the community, often remaining with the same community their entire lives, while females emigrated adolescence, ensuring genetic diversity and preventing inbreeding. The troops reflect their different roles, with groups coming together for different reasons. All male groups often forming for hunting, while all female groups can be found as nursing groups taking care of the young. With mixed groups forming for social grooming, as a result, chimpanzee societies are highly complex and based on subtle personal relationships between individuals, making the alpha males even more aggressive, not knowing if the constant changing of groups mean an attempted coup is in progress. thus necessitating constant assertions of dominance to prevent coalitions from forming, with low-ranking males exploiting and even increasing political instability in the group by frequently switching sides in order to gain further access to the females while the alpha is engaged in the conflict. 
highly territorial. Chimps have been known to kill other chimps outside of their community. Or even within. Given a strong enough conflict or rivalry. The chimpanzees can easily survive on fruits and foliage alone. Chimps occasionally hunt for birds, insects, warthogs, antelopes, and even other monkeys, such as the western red colobus, yellow baboons, and red-tailed monkeys. Bonobos differ in that they are almost exclusively frugivorous. Only rarely attacking other monkeys due to hunger. And instead are matriarchal in their community structure. With mother-son bonds particularly strong. Males deriving their status from their mother alone. As male bonobos are normally almost the same size as the females and no hunting parties are required. Less aggressive, bonobos are known for being extraordinarily peaceful, unlike the common chimpanzees, with extensive social mingling as opposed to rivalry between groups and communities. And they're known to have a higher capacity for empathy with rich emotional lives closer to that of humans. Bonobos also use sexuality as conflict management, unlike any other ape often using intercourse to form social bonds, resolve issues, and offer reconciliation. The reproduction rates are no higher than that of the common chimpanzee. Mating among chimps and bonobos can occur nearly any time of the year, with both males and females attempting to mate with as many partners as possible. Though occasionally, infanticide is practiced by the dominant male against unrelated young. As with most apes, the mother is the primary caregiver of their young, with the newborn clinging to their mother's body, unable to support their own weight, only able to move independently at two years of age, with weaning occurring only at four to six years. Highly intelligent, chimps can be taught to understand human speech and numbers. are highly capable of creating rudimentary tools. And even used leaves as utensils for drinking water. With both chimps and bonobos able to feel intense compassion or grief engaging in altruism, such as adopting orphaned young, As with the taxonomy of apes, which has been the subject of intense debate for centuries, the term ape itself had a long history of being redefined, with common perception of what constitutes an ape being confused to this day. A staple of zoos around the world, apes have learned to function well in captivity, with extended lives unthreatened by predators with chimpanzees living over 60 years in captivity. Throughout history, apes have had frequent relations with man. Many are revered as gods, or respected as kinsmen. Later on in the West, kept in circuses and freak shows, labeled as wild men of the jungle. And since Charles Darwin's initial publications of the relationship between great apes and humans, public awareness has been continuously directed at the study of them. With many popular depictions exaggerating their human traits and intellect. And frequent domestication of wild great apes portrayed in the media. Despite their endangered nature and large size,
as individual apes acquiring fame and captivity. Several chimpanzees and gorillas have also been known as renowned painters, such as Peter, a four-year-old chimp that was involved in a hoax in 1964, where a Swedish journalist exhibited his paintings as the works of an unknown French painter, earning significant critical acclaim as an avant-garde artist, while Congo, a chimpanzee who, in the 1950s, showed a clear sense of composition and balance developing a highly distinct style that has been called Abstract Impressionism, amassing a collected work of over 400 paintings and drawings, with Pablo Picasso being a fan. This has led to many attempting to keep apes as private pets. not realizing the necessity for them to have larger environments with high foraging demands, as well as high levels of aggression and immense strength far greater than that of humans, resulting in many apes being put down or transferred Their physical and anatomical similarity to humans has also been found as beneficial to pharmaceutical trials, with particularly chimpanzees used for animal testing, including invasive procedures such as surgery and biopsy, as well as injections of infectious agents and drug testing. With many, due to their rarity, used for numerous tests rather than being killed or discarded after single procedures. Some chimpanzees used for over 40 years of testing and experimentation. Despite moral outrage from animal rights groups, all great apes are highly endangered, partly due to hunting and illegal pet trade, but mainly due to shrinking habitats. individuals numbering in the thousands for most. Even mere hundreds for mountain gorillas. With apes of all kinds being pushed to the brink of extinction. Until then, our last remaining family is out there, in the treetops and jungles, a reminder of our past and our responsibilities for the future.